your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather forecast with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. 7.20 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. It is a dry Wednesday morning, at least in our neck of the woods, but we're watching another round of showers and some storms through Arkansas back to Oklahoma and Texas. And that is our storm system that's going to bring us the chance for some rain as we ring in 2021. We'll talk more about that weather threat in just a bit. Let me take you live outside to downtown Columbus, a beautiful sunrise right now looking off to the east. If you haven't left the house yet, maybe you want to sit on the front porch for a few minutes and enjoy that view. We're 50 degrees in Starkville, 52 right now in Oxford, 55 in Aberdeen, 56 up north in Tupelo. Through the rest of the morning, some partly cloudy skies here for the next little bit. I think clouds will build in gradually through the day, leaving us mostly cloudy by lunchtime. However, the temperatures are still going to warm up. We're talking highs today, close to 70 degrees in many locations, 67 in Columbus, 68 in Tupelo. And again, clouds continuing to build in. Maybe some showers as well as we go into this afternoon and evening. Now, the main weather system is going to move through Thursday night into Friday. That's just in time for New Year's. So from 9 p.m. New Year's Eve on to about 6 a.m. New Year's Day, we're going to have some storms rolling through. Uh, and really, it looks like it might be a washout. So any outdoor plans, any fireworks, any celebrations, if you can, try to postpone those to Friday night. Friday night's going to be beautiful. Thursday night, though, we're going to be dealing with some storms with the temperatures in the 60s breezy as well. As far as our severe weather threat goes right now, a level two out of five. We are thinking that the damaging wind threat is going to be the highest. It's still not even that high. We've still got that at a low threat. After that, maybe an isolated tornado. That threat is very low, but it's not zero. We can't completely rule it out. So we want to give you the heads up. Just keep an eye on the weather Thursday night. And if you know, as long as your plans are not outside, I think you're fine to go along with them as long as you have a way to get those weather alerts. Also wouldn't be shocked at all to see a little bit of flash flooding in some spots. Again, that's going to be Thursday night into Friday. Now there is some good news, hopefully out of this, the way this shapes up now. This is a look at our storm energy. So where the juice is for the storms. Notice all the greens and brighter colors in Louisiana. And that's what we're thinking the best chance for severe weather is because watch what happens as this moves into our area. It kind of fizzles away just a little bit. Now keep in mind there is still some energy here. There's still enough energy for those storms to go off of, but it's not as much as it was down here. So we're thinking the worst of the severe weather might stay just to our south. That doesn't mean we can't see some strong storms, a damaging wind gust or maybe an isolated tornado, but it does appear as we go through Friday morning at around 6 a.m. The storms will be on a weakening trend as they move through. After that, most of New Year's Day is going to be dry. The rain moves out by sunrise, leaving us nice for the first weekend of 2021 as well. Mid 50s for the highs and plenty of sunshine through next week as well. 56 for Monday, 58 going into next Tuesday. Sunrise on CW4 continues after the break. Stay with us.